timing. You have to choose the right timing to do what you're doing. Am I sexy when I shake it like this, like that? Am I sexy when you kiss me and I bite? J'ai lu dans le journal que les impératifs de la mode sont plus catégoriques que ceux de la philosophie. Uh, I think it's true that because I have a background of studying covers, not intentionally but subconsciously, I use that talent today. Uh, I'm a creative person, but I still have uh, a little bit of uh, business brain at the back. So it's a combination of both. If you look what I did in the beginning, it was all about uh, fantasy before. It still is, but before it was more about fantasy, it was more about a dream, it was more about uh, doing exactly what I felt. But I think if you have to last long in, in a profession, especially fashion, you have to, over the years, find the balance of both, which means doing what's your dream, but still uh, showing something which can be uh, used or bought by a consumer. I have to remember that I'm not selling art, I'm selling clothes. So, so if I have to continue to make all these artistic clothes, I still I have to sell to, to make that money to make these. What happens is that most of the time in countries like Russia or in Mexico or in India, uh, the designers want to to be successful so they think the best way to be successful is to be like the other designers in in France or in uh, UK or in uh, America New York or but I don't think so I think what works is that you have to not forget your originality and where you come from it's very important you can't forget your own background in fact you just have to use your background and probably modernize it or probably make it more relevant to the international audience but still never forget where you came from. I would say talent is 50% and 30% uh, is timing, the right timing. You have to choose the right timing to do what you're doing. And, and let's say 20% is all on luck or or your whatever, you know, but main thing is timing. You have to find that right timing when you are confident of your, your style, that it, and then you go out and present it to people. I was showing in India already, and there was people from British Fashion Council who were at Fashion Week in India, and they saw my work and they thought, maybe it's a good idea for me to apply for London Fashion Week. And that's how it came to my mind. I didn't think of it. And Paris, for example, also was when Mr. Grumbach asked me. I was too, uh, Paris was too big for me. But when Mr. Grumbach met me, DJ Grumbach, and he uh, thought that I was the right one to join the Paris Fashion Week, it, it built my confidence. And of course, thanks to him and people like Maria Luisa, I still remember before I came to Paris Fashion Week, Marie Luisa took me to all the shows that she was invited to at Fashion Week in Paris. I had never seen shows at Paris Fashion Week before. So it was not, it was in my mind, but these people gave me the confidence to come here. The heart. The heart. In Paco Robin, the excitement was too high to be scared of. <laughs> I think there is a big similarity actually. It may not look like because maybe I don't make clothes out of metal in my brand, but there is a similarity a lot. There is a lot of uh, craftsmanship, which is the very common factor between me and Paco Roban. And I think that's what was the main element why I think I was right for that brand. When I came outside India to show my work, it was very difficult for me as a single person to make my brand big. So I had to use or work, let's say, with brands like Nespresso or Nivea or uh, Monoprix or uh, Pomery, etc., etc., because they reach more people. 
or Swatch, for example. A Swatch, when I did the Swatch collaboration, they were advertising in all the big magazines. They were they had this huge hoardings on Champs Elysees or at Times Square or at Oxford Street, and they were doing TV advertising on MTV worldwide. I cannot do that on my own. And for me to come from India and to make myself into a brand, it was very necessary for me to to collaborate with these brands who had the budgets to make my brand bigger than what it is. So that was the idea. That is the idea still. Fortunately for me, all the brands who came for collaboration, they came for what I am all about. So it was okay. But of course, every brand you work with, they have their own uh, rules and regulations and and you respect that for sure. But besides that, I think till now I have had a lot of freedom in creating whatever I wanted. I think what works is that you have to not forget your originality. Devenir immortel et puis mourir. Am I sexy when I shake it like this, like that? Am I sexy when you kiss me and I bite you back? Am I sexy when I tell I got it all on track? Am I sexy, tell me baby, when I hump your cat? Uh, uh, uh.